Yo, what's up guys? In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a form in Bootstrap and uh, you should have the same project from the last time. So, yeah. Then we will use uh, after for the post and the get request to fetch all the, all the data from the backend. But uh, just for this video I'm just gonna show you how to create a table. So first of all we want to include the CDN of uh, Bootstrap which is uh, the JavaScript, uh, the jQuery and the CSS. I have already the link. Uh, you, ju ju you just go and Google and just type like jQuery CDN and just click on uncompress. All you need to do is just click this and on the same project that we have. Uh, so the same project that I've done in the tutorial one, I think too. You just go ahead and after this, you paste this one and and the same for the JavaScript. You just need to open the script. Uh, as you see, you put the link in. Yeah, and one more thing is that if we put it here, we want the CSS of the bootstrap, so we just need to do a link. Uh, RLA, which is which is a style sheet, and H H R E F. I'm just pasting the code. No, this is JS. You just need to copy the CSS. The same thing. So you go to Google and you just type push up CDN and you should have those two links as the first one, it's the first option. Uh, yeah, I need to end with uh, CSS, so yeah, and that should do. So then you just need to go to your component, which is hello for now. So in the hello, we just have hello mob, and but what we want to have is. Uh, so, so instead of this, yeah, yeah, I just want to use the one. Yeah, I just want to have a class called container that will contain my my form. So, just gonna have a. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, form. Yeah. Then, because I really like the class called well in Bushrub. So I'm just going to include that. It's really nice. Uh, yeah, so. So then what I want to do, I want to do H4 add user yeah then uh, so do you have I want to do with separate diffs so I just want to do class uh, so I just want to have a form group So then I want to have a label that I will have the class just want to pull it to the left yeah and this will be called first name then I finish the label and we just want to have an input the type is with your text class form dash control then for placeholder if you want you can just put first name eternity and yeah that's it for now so to do this to run this all you need to do is like you need to cd to your folder where you have your vjs project 
and all you need to do is npm run dev you run the server and just put it to your browser so for me this is port 8080 and yeah so let's wait for a uh, so once you have this uh, Yeah, here we go. So that's what it did. So I want to have the class well. Inside it, I want to have other user, a first name, and the first name has a, has a placeholder. So I'm just going to copy and paste. Uh, so just save a little bit of time. And so here, one last name. And here, I just want email so yeah let's go ahead and see oh uh, oh data so Missing space before Oh yeah, this is yes length. I'm just gonna do this. Yes length. So yeah, so you got first name, last name, and uh, your email and name yeah so see yeah so we just want to add the buttons now do this where it finish uh so it's right after this it's the button type submit class so I want to have the button to have a class the button but I want it to be larger and I want the button to be block in block yeah? and I want it to be the primary which would take the color of primary and uh, I want it to take the full the full width and that's it submit Let's see if this works. Yeah, cool. So I want to have, I'm just going to copy this. And the one I have is to submit. I need to do go to user. But I want to have a primary, I want to have success. And is not a submit button, just a normal button. Yeah, it's gone. That's it. So in the next video, I'm just gonna show you how to do the post, and then I might do like another video with the cat. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thank you.